Well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I am your host, Neil Johnson, and I am super excited to be with you today and bring you this report. Look, you don't need to pay attention to anything else other than this report and the Trucker's Convoy today. This is the report you've been waiting for. I am going to break down the numbers of just how badly failed the State of the Union is. This is major winning. People are waking up everywhere. Not only that, you're going to see cratering support everywhere. I am still predicting a 100-seat victory for the Republicans. And I know, I know some of you are like, no, Neil, Neil, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. Look, I have explained this ad nauseum over on my other channels, which you need to follow, Locals Rumble, those types of things. Because I explain why we are going to win in spite of every reason you think we're going to lose. Pay attention, folks. This is going to be a good one. Spare me one 30-second infomercial on my favorite sponsor. <laughs> NeilJohnsonPhotos.com. That's right. By trade, I am actually a landscape and wildlife photographer um, before I started out on this crazy journey. And neiljohnsonphotos.com, you can see my work. I don't have it all over there, but I've got a lot of it. And I think you will really enjoy it. And using promo code LUMBERJACK, you can save 10% on one item, 15% on two. They are all, all those photos are printed on archival grade papers with archival grade inks. Nothing but the best. I'm, I'm not just saying that. It really is. The canvases, you can get aluminum. You can get all of it over there. Um, go check it out, please. NeilJohnsonPhotos.com. All right. On to the news. So I'm going to give you one piece of analysis from this guy, uh, Maximus Forever, uh, on Telegram. Uh, that's at Maximus underscore the number four EVR, okay? If you want to follow him. But this was his analysis on something, and this was a really fascinating poll. FYI, his fraudulency update, only 41% of viewers found Biden's speech positive per CNN. That is the lowest in CNN history for a State of the Union poll. But here's the real kicker. The poll had a 50 plus percent Dem skew. In other words, mostly Dems watched the speech and they didn't even approve of it. This suggests that the Democrats lost even more, or Biden lost even more Democrat support last night. Okay, and, and obviously this has been happening for months, but it gets better. Don't worry, it gets better. And I know, and it, but we're in a race against the clock here, people. And I understand this piece of the puzzle, okay? But I keep praying, I believe that we are not at the end of this yet. I believe that God is giving us a second chance. I really do. And people say, oh, don't bring God into this. No, I really do. Uh, because, uh, well... I'll explain as I go on here. But um, another thing you need to know is that Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat West Virginia, has ridiculed Biden and squashes any idea of reviving the Build Back Better after the State of the Union. And they've abandoned the language Build Back Better. Okay? And it's just nothing's changed again. He just keeps saying this. Nothing's changed. We're not doing this. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we had somebody in the Republican Party who could stand the line like this guy, Joe Manchin, under all the pressure he's under? Honestly, instead we have Lindsey Graham off his rails today, okay? Now, here's where it gets really interesting as I go into this civics poll. And I'm going to, I mean, people will say, okay, quick disclaimer on this. People are going to say, Neil, you're, you're cherry picking polls. Uh, it's really not that bad. Not enough people have woken up. No, I'm going to actually take you to some other polling data right after this and show you how the other polls are moving in the same direction, even the ones that oversample Dems. But this is Joe Biden's job approval, the civics poll, okay? It continues to fall. Now, amongst all respondents in the 18 to 34 category, 27% support, 57% disapprove. But just hold on, the analysis gets better. Watch this. Just to prove that you get dumber with education, non-college graduate, Biden's at 25%. College graduate, 29%. Postgraduate, 33%. Proof that people get dumber, they get dumbed down by going to today's colleges because they are really that sick. Okay? Anyways, but get this. This is nuts. Even by party affiliation, amongst the youth, 
18 to 27, he only has 52% approval. And it gets even worse because once you go to the independent young folks, 18 to 27, his approval slides down to 14%. He has almost, that's a Justin Trudeau number. Do you understand that? I mean, up in Canada right now, Justin Trudeau is at 14%. That's holistically. That tells you just how bad off he is. Okay. But amongst independent youth here in the United States, Joe Biden's at 14% approval, 73% disapproval with only 14% undecided. I can go on. Okay. Now I'm going to go into a couple other numbers on this civics poll. And this was just from the, the, just after the state of the union respondents on March 3rd. Okay. Boy, what a disaster for Biden. I, I mean, the whole night was a disaster. You guys saw it, right? He couldn't, yeah, I, I, I don't even need to get into all that. But total in the civics poll right now is at 35% approved, 55% disapproved. People, I'm telling you, he's going to lose. Absolutely 100% lose. Now, let's go on to this. And the Democrats are going to just get a bloodbath in the midterms. Okay, and I know people, oh no, no, I'm telling you. I just had a half hour conversation with my good friend Marcus D about all this. And, you know, we talked this all through. I'm telling you, you got to follow me over on Locals and Rumbles if you want some of the whole analysis of this because it's just uh, what is. But here, I want you to say, people say, well, you're just cherry picking. Okay, so let me go to a, let's see, I'm on Real Clear Politics right now. And I am going to go to uh, a political morning consult poll. Okay, so here we go. From from February 19th to February 21st, his spread on disapproval was at negative eight. Now, from February 2015, February 25th to February 27th, negative 15. Seven point swing, one week, okay? We don't have their newest poll, okay? And these things, the problem is all these polls are oversampling Democrats unless we go down to Trafalgar Group. Holy cats, I didn't even see this one. Oh my word, it's got him at negative 19. Look, his approval, folks, is down in the 30s. Now, some of these really slanted polls, like NPR Radio, if you ever want to believe that, still has him underwater, but at only negative 4. I mean, really? Really? This this sounds like the Wisconsin poll that had Trump losing by 14 points a couple days before the election. They will stop at nothing to try to skew these poll numbers. But people, it doesn't matter even when they're skewing them this hard and oversampling Dems this bad. It is absolutely a crisis for them. Understand this. This needle is being moved by awareness. Okay? And people continuing to wake up. And not only that, remember I covered this the other day on those Texas numbers? conservatives are more engaged even than they were in 2020. And sadly, if we go back to 2020, and I've shared these numbers before in Minnesota, where we had um, at the, the 2016 BPOU caucus that I attend, okay, at our, at our caucus, there were over 200 people in 2016 who attended. In 2020, there was 20. That's 90% drop off in the local involvement. Okay, so... Again, we've got to stay engaged at the local level or we're not going to win this fight. But these numbers are cataclysmic. You have not seen numbers like this. You can go to the generic congressional ballots where where it shows a complete wipeout. Even in the Democrat skewed polls, it shows Republicans as plus six. Again, I I just want you people to have hope. Please follow with me on this. I understand all the problems, but if you continue to immerse yourself in negativity and defeatism, we are not going to win this fight and we need you. Okay. So stand up, fight the good fight. All right. The, he is cratering. His support is cratering the midterms. It's going to be a hundred seat bloodbath. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before in your life. I'm t- I mark my words. You can put it down. You can hold me afterwards, just like you did with Virginia, where I lost a bunch of subscribers because I told them what was going to happen in Virginia. Okay? 
And and look, for all of you Yunkin doubters, he may not be as conservative as we want him to be, but those mandates and what he's done have been real, and he has actually uh, worked with the Attorney General to prosecute out there. Okay, so again, we may not get everything we want this go-round, but we're going to move the needle forward and then stay engaged. Please stay engaged. Because otherwise, we're just going to have rhinoism. I just... Sometimes I have so much trouble bringing into focus exactly what I want you to understand from what I'm trying to say. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity to get rid of a bunch of these hacks. Every swing district that has a Democrat is going to flip and the Democrat leaning. You're not going to win Ocasio-Cortez's district. But you can win all these others around, okay? I mean, we got to be engaged. Hey, thank you so much. Please do go check out neiljohnsonphotos.com. You can use the promo code, save some money. And I thank you so much for listening to the show. Remember to subscribe if you have not already. All right? I love you all. Peace out.